Salutations, ladies and germs. It's about that time of year again where mom starts kissing Santa Claus, which also in turn means that New Year's is a coming and the hoes start running. Yeah, sure. The hoes start running. It's hard rhyming on the spot. But yeah, seeing the New Year arrive has really brought out the self-absorbed gremlin within me and has inspired me to make this video. But yeah, in this video, you're going to get to see what I have dubbed as the, um, the best moments from 2023. But yeah, as I said in my 2022 video, I like seeing the changes and humor and editing skill and just content in general that happen throughout the years. And comparing that video to this video, it's very apparent that there's been a large change. Uh, if last year was the year of the tutorial videos, this year is the year of uh, video game playing. I even stooped so low that I made a Five Nights at Freddy's video. But regardless of my own personal goals, if, if your aim is to watch this video, then I'd like to thank you. But with all of that out of the way, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy this video. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to avoid Toad, and then you're going to... You're gonna go into this room. You're gonna wanna bonk immediately. I tend to have a bit of trouble when trying to perform this maneuver. As you can see, I'm having trouble performing the maneuver. And this guy has no idea what just hit him. It was a very large Italian plumber. Crap. Either I have a pair of really strong legs, or I've crawled onto the bed and overtopped him. See, Bob? You could have given this to me the easy way, but you didn't. Now, look at it. Look at this. This was inside you, Bob. You wanted to keep this inside of you? You really wanted to keep this inside of you, Bob? Gosh, you are so stupid, Bob. I can't believe you would do this. Anyways, we don't need that anymore. I would prefer that that weird tendril that is currently holding my watch as a hostage. I really don't want that tendril to be there. Yep, that's right. We're going to continue our escapade into 2014. Here we are. Where's the phone? How wonderful. I can't wait to submit this to speedruns.com and tell them I got the world record. Something tells me they're gonna believe me. I almost got in there. I almost performed the cool trick that speedrunners do. Now I, I will perform other cool tricks that speedrunners do. See me perform other cool trick? That's right. I'm capable. I am a capable individual. Don't, don't go that far, Mario. No, I don't want that. I know that in an actual speedrun, you're supposed to jump off the edge and, uh, Okay, looks like we're going the normal way. I was gonna take the normal short. Looks like we're gonna take the normal shortcut. Come on, Bob. Open up. Let's see that fun house that lives inside of you. There's lasers. Oh yeah, there are lasers in this camera. I just remembered. Can we clean his ears? Alright. Uh-oh. Am I high right now? I'm high right now. I can't deal with you, Bob. Doesn't this one cure my high? All right, come on, prick me. Do it. You know what? No, never mind. I can operate like this. I don't think I can operate like this. I had a nightmare the other night. I don't even know if you could call it a nightmare because it's not scary when you hear it, but in the dream, I was like terrified of what was going on. Yeah, I was a pilot and I was waiting for my passengers to get on board and as I was waiting, I looked out to my left on the runway, and I saw a hot air balloon moving horizontally down the runway. I had never felt more terrified in my life. It was just a hot air balloon moving horizontally down the runway. Hot air balloons don't do that, and it wasn't going slow either. It was going, like, quickly. It wasn't ascending, it wasn't descending. It was just moving down the runway horizontally. You know how scared I was? Leave me alone. I'm talking about hot air balloons. Foxy is being a bit 
quirky. What do you think I got going on in that drink? You think I got a soda? I think I got a water? Maybe some lemonade? Chocolate milk? Oh. All right. That's why I closed the door earlier. I knew of Foxy and his ploys. This guy's the slowest man on earth. He'll never beat me. He's gonna beat me. I'm a genius. Never mind, I'm not a genius. All right. Now on to probably my favorite split in the entire run. Didn't realize we were playing Tony Hawk today. See, there's that professional Mario movement. That's how you know I'm a professional video game player. I presume we just need to hold this in a different manner. How did that happen? All right, we'll give him. We'll, we'll give him a nice scarf. There we go. Yeah, that's a scarf. Now we're just very delicately gonna pinch this thing out of here. Get that out of here. Oh, it's adding on to the scarf. Never mind, it's running away. So I'm pretty sure he laughs every single time that he moves. If I'm not mistaken. See, I'm a bit of a Five Nights at Freddy's. You know, we haven't seen much of Bonnie. We've seen a ton of Chica trying to block us from. Uh oh. Let's celebrate. Come on, Freddy. Let's celebrate. See? The power of celebration triumphs over all. There we go. Now, on to possibly my second favorite split of the entire run. See, this is the part that I always struggle with. I don't seem to be struggling to break dance. I think in a normal speedrun, you're actually not supposed to activate these stairs. Instead, you're supposed to do some cool people stuff. But, alas, I am not a cool person. As you can clearly see. I did it again! Dude, I am feeling a little agitated. Gosh dang it, fine. Psych, I would never. I... Alright, hand it here. What it? What's going on up there? I saw that, Bob. You're not, you're not getting out of that easily. We're gonna build a bigger and better Bob. Alright, we're... Okay, apparently we're gonna be using a medical tomahawk. That, that juice just went flying. Who's making that noise? Shut up. See, I told you guys the phone guy was fine. He celebrated. He'd obviously be fine. He, he celebrated and he transcended into a new being. I don't know if I want to do this one. Am I gonna have to cut the mask off him? Can I not just take it off of him? Yeah, because I, I would have to remove his do-rag up here if I wanted to get his mask off. Nope, Bob, give it back to me. Give it back. Give it to me. Oh my gosh. I think we're getting somewhere. He's looking beautiful. I'm not proud of the fact that I'm tryharding at Five Nights at Freddy's, but what other choice do I have other than to try hard? How else will I defeat rabbit, bird, bear, and... Like I said, I will give it one shot, and then that that's it. Oh, Freddy already moved? What? Did he... He moved again? What? He... 
Well, wait a minute. How how often does Freddy move? Freddy, don't I have to teach you just keep this door shut at all times now? Um, he's not in there, guys. Yep, uh, <laughs> there's your one attempt. Hey, we did it! Hold on, before we look at this, I'm gonna go use the little girl's room. I'll be right back. On my way to use the bathroom, I looked outside, and I saw that the neighbors had, like, 18 children piled onto one trampoline. Life is crazy, man. I am rank 1,678. I... I am a speedrunning genius. I can't believe I am so good at this game. Honestly, how can somebody be so good at a game? This guy's get it this guy's getting a physical or something. Oh, that's a girl. This all ends when you surrender. This this little guy right here. Come on, Bob. What's it gonna be, Bob? What is it gonna be? Bob, Bobathan, Bobby, Bobbis. I'm running out of ways to say Bob. Bob, I swear, I'm going to kill your whole family. All aboard the SS Spoon. Come on, give it here. Give me your eye. I have poked and prodded at this thing with a countless no- As I was saying, I was poking and prodding at that thing with a countless number of scalpels, and it just comes out after I tap his face lightly with a spoon. This is an outrage. Oh my gosh, can I snatch his weave? Oh. Holy. Holy. Holy Jesus. I, it's like, it's like, it's like tugging Santa's beard to see if he's real. So I'm going to take one of these teeth and I am going to, there we go. Why did I drop that? That was the worst mistake of my life. Why did I think I could just let go of the button like some sort of imbecile? My gosh, I'm an imbecile, aren't I? Oh no. Guess I better grab this other one that's readily available. There we go. This is going to be the best zoo you guys have ever seen. I wish to rotate you. Explain to me. Explain to me the fundamentals of rotating. I, d I have no clue what I'm doing. I want to rotate it. How does this help me? Rotate. Z. Okay. I was lied to. Rotate 90 degrees. Huh. It sure would be nice if it actually rotated 90 degrees. What? you see that epic trick it did? How would you feel if this hand came up to you in real life with its little sausage fingers and it just started trying to... started trying to pinch you? They were called the Mario Brothers because Mario was their last name. Mario Mario, Luigi Mario. So on a resume, Mario would write that he's a plumber. He has toilet unclogging skills. He has... Um... Turtle slang skills, and he has princess hymen removal skills. He removes the hymen from the equation. If for some reason you are unaware of what a Florida man is, then allow me to provide a brief summary of what a Florida man is. Hurricanes, alligators, meth, heroin, PCP, palm trees. I don't know about you, but whenever I think of the Florida man, I think of these things. When the press gets a hold of the Florida Man stories, they can lead to some fun headlines, such as Florida Man breaks into house, shaves the cat's head, then leaves without stealing anything. Or another good one, Florida Man throws burrito in woman's face, cops say. And this has happened before. We can put boa constrictors, we can put spiders in there. I don't know if you guys remember what we named the zoo, but I mean, spiders would be very fitting. Fire keeper. 
Look at this man, he has a cowboy hat. We're never gonna need a keeper ever again. These guys will handle literally everything. Let's have one security guard. We only need one security guard because of how powerful he is. And when I say that he's powerful, what I mean is that he has a gun. Time for a reverse child abduction. I'm dropping off here before coming down here. And then I'm gonna come over here. This mother's gonna be like, Oh, thank you for returning my son to me. After a couple of minutes of shark wrangling, he managed to wrestle the thing to shore. After the shark loosened its jaws, another Florida man came along and he was like, Whoa, wouldn't it be crazy if I put my arm in that shark's mouth? And lo and behold, he managed to get Jesse's arm out of the shark. Sharks have poor eyesight and that's most likely why this one attacked Jesse. I mean, you're actually more likely to get killed by a firework than you are a shark. Harry is more likely to be unable to put it into reverse than a shark is to kill someone. There he is! I found him! What are you doing in there, bud? How's it going? Alright, so we need to t tend to his humidity, I'm pretty sure. He's also- why is he so cold? How can we help Symington? I don't know how to fix this. I don't know what I'm doing. Why did I open a zoo? What? Is that a protester? A brew. What does a brew mean? Shut up, I'm dealing with it. You get the feeling that I'm gonna lose time on MIPS. I think that I'm probably gonna lose time on MIPS. I get the feeling I'm gonna lose time on MIPS. They patch this in real time? Our next Florida man is a very special Florida man. So with that being said, why don't we take a look at Florida man denies ownership of syringes found inside his rectum. Scott was taken to jail where deputies then conducted a strip search. During said strip search, deputies watched in horror as Wesley Scott pulled three syringes out of his rectum. He then gave all of them to a deputy who I hope was wearing gloves and then he said, These aren't mine. I found them. There's a lot of issues with my part. There's high amounts of litter. Did you see how many janitors I hired? Why is there litter? Ooh. Look at this guy. He's so happy to be here. Does he have a name? Druv. Druv. What are you doing, man? H how's it been, Druv? You sound very happy to be- Oh, his friend is here. Look at that wildebeest. Everyone's so happy to be- Oh, they're, he they're here to collect him. That can't be good. Listen, tiny penguin. We don't have much time. Are you trying to ruin my speedrun, little baby? So if you try to ruin my speedrun, I'll ruin you. I'm going to ruin you. I'm beginning to think I should just deliver this baby normally. This penguin doesn't- <laughs> Uh, Mario. The Mario Brothers. A Florida man was approached by a rabid coyote and, after trying but failing to scare it away, he just kicked the thing. During the coyote's airtime, it spun around like a pinwheel before landing on the ground motionless. The Florida man then just walks away looking confused. He was probably just surprised that he managed to fix the situation that easily. And I don't blame him either because if a random coyote just approaches you and your first thought is, man, I could really just end this with one swift kick, then you're just, you're weird. What, uh, I'm sorry, what's that? You're wondering how I can describe the situation with such precision? Well, that's because there's a video to go along with it, of course. If you're going to brave it out, I'll go ahead and put some cheery and upbeat music over the footage so that it's not as dark. <laughs> Gee whiz, that coyote really got shown what for. Anyways, after the coyote scampers off, apparently it made its way into a backyard where it bit some lady and then a man held it on the ground until it just stopped living. Are you kidding me? 
Drug! What have you done? These people are terrified, Drug. Do you know what you've done? He just did it to flex. He didn't even do it because he... He didn't even do it to escape. He, see? He's running away. He just did it to show that he could. And now he's climbing out. Drug, you need to stop causing issues, man. Otherwise, we're gonna have to put you down. Like a dog. Why are there still so much- Why is there still so much litter? Why are the janitors not doing their job? What's happening? Look at them go. Moving in unison. They look like a- They look like a- Mythical creature, almost. Oh no, they're separating. Yaha is probably the last thing you want to hear if you're a turtle. So, Jeff, what is the funny thing that happened to these uh, players? They're not players, they're NPCs, you goof. Oh, oh, no! You have a cat in your inventory. We don't talk about the cat. We don't talk about the cat. No, I just smoked the don't, crack pipe. Don't question the cat. I don't think you should be using the cat that way. Now, when I tell you about Yordi Escalante Carrillo... Wait a minute, Carrillo? Is it Carrillo or is it Carrillo? Carrillo. Why did it say it so slow and sensually? Anyways, now, when I tell you about Yordi Escalante Carrillo, you might just think of him as your average everyday lobster enthusiast, but you'd be wrong. Yordi Carrillo is no mere lobster enthusiast, he is a lobster supervillain. He had 200 illegal lobsters in his car. Alright, we're gonna give these turtles a special little area. They can... They have a little pathway that they can go on <laughs> if they want. That, that, that's a nice shape. I don't think it's expanding the way that I want it to. How can I get my turtles up there? Alright, well, if the turtles can scale that power to them... Well, it, it looks like this guy's giving it, a, giving it a try. Come on, you can make it. He really is trying. What? Did he just take out a rocket launcher and try to kill one of the turtles? Well, I've erected a giant statue for the turtles, so, you know. It kind of looks like a turtle head. We're gonna have a battle royale. We're gonna make a giant enclosure. And we're gonna make all the animals fight to the death. Oh yeah, raw, raw shit. You think I got a problem? I will build. <laughs> all right, we have bison and wildebeest. Oh, is that an aardvark I see? Oh, there's an elephant. Predation is occurring. Piss on cat. Piss on cat. I hate you. Piss, Piss on cat. He's playing PETA simulator. Luke, kick the guy. Man, you did. Man. You didn't think twice. Get in the boat, boat Mark. All right, Luke. I have an idea. All right, so Luke. Luke, you see me right here. All right, get in. Get in. We're gonna. Uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna. Here's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna. We're gonna have a, a third passenger. Oh my God, no! <laughs> Is it a no, new? That didn't even fit in the boat. Is it a new? <laughs> Anyways, I'm. I'm. I think I'm gonna call it there because I'm just. I'm just getting heated over this whole lobster situation. I I need to take a breather. Trust me. I would I would love to go over Florida man tries to run over son because he wouldn't take a bath or Florida man Google's self to find out which Florida man he is. But this lobster story, it's just it's hitting me harder than the incurable disease that hit my grandpa sending him into a coma. The African wild dog is fleeing. He's been abducted. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I found the monkey section. Oh, these are pretty cool bananas. <laughs> oh, they're all arriving. The monkey train is coming. They're here. They're here. Let us celebrate and rejoice. Look at them go. Look at them climb. They're having the time of their life. I'm just gonna look through all these explosives. Uh oh. Well, dumbass. That's what you, that's what you get, Mark. I, s I don't know what's, what's happening. We're doing Normandy. There's a reset button. I will not. Hey, it worked. How many did you put in there? I don't know, I stopped counting. Can we give Waluigi guns? I... Alright, he, he's gonna be a... That... He doesn't die. Jesus. Okay. Waluigi, alright, kill him. 
get, get rid of him. Man, he... Oh, yes. The full atomic experience. Scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalyptic... Crap. I'm here, son. Off to the shelter with you. Food. We need food. Why does the daughter have food in her room? How fat is our daughter? Is our house still standing? Or will we have to move to some forsaken hole like Toronto? Boy, I can't imagine living in Canada. Couldn't be me. <gasps> One of my tortoises is about to have offspring. You're already pregnant. Stop trying to get more pregnant. Get away from him. He's obviously fleeing from you. Are you here to deliver the animal? No, you're not. You're here to just check your phone and then leave. Or not leave. Or, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> just walking through the monkey enclosure? Are you kidding me? What, put that thing He has gorilla clout. He's just strutting through here. And the gorillas don't care. He's trying to just, just rush us. I don't know where you guys are. Okay. Yeah, I think I uh, should be with, with Mark. Yeah, you should just stay with Mark at this point, man. I think I should have these things. That's fine. It's fine if I have these? But, uh, am I t attacking or defending with Mark? You and Mark are attacking. I'm just gonna defend these. Honestly, okay, I don't, I don't, tr I don't trust Mark with a machine gun placement. Mark, what the, f what the hell are you doing? All right, Luke. I need you. Catch, Luke. Gee whiz, Luke. I need you to shoot Waluigi. He he only has ten health. He he's begging for death. Get on the wall. Get on the wall. Get on the fucking wall. Stop resisting. Stop fucking resisting. He's already dead. He's resisting. He's twitching. He's twitching. He's resisting. Mary Jane is really tired, Timmy is really tired, Dolores is really tired, but Ted isn't really tired. Uh oh. Alright, we're gonna give everyone water and we're gonna give Mary Jane some soup because we're gonna send her out into the wasteland. We're not gonna give Mary Jane any soup. Timmy's looking good. I think Timmy's about to go on an expedition. Go on, Timmy. Finally. Timmy went out into the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Probably move on. <sighs> Pardon my little breakdown right there. I, I have a bit of a bug right now, so if there's any more instances of me doing that or if I just sound different, that's why. Bugs have developed a reputation for being weird, stinky, and stupid. And as a result, a lot of people have a fear of bugs. If you don't believe me, then allow me to remind you that the man depicted in this picture here made mustard gas to try and kill a cockroach he had already trapped in his bathtub. That's right. A trapped cockroach that wasn't going anywhere drove moist critical into such hysteria that he didn't think twice when a fan told him to make mustard gas. Why? Why is he my boat? Why? What? Oh. 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 <laughs> You'd be surprised. Mark, I swear to God, why is there a nuke in here? I yeah. don't know if you know what type of mod I have, but I'm just gonna take over. A few bits of armor. Can Mark, armor? What, what are you doing with the, I'm the, getting armor. the, the Giga Chad up here? What is this? He's a titan. Hold on, he's not finished. Oh my god, I Are you gonna make him black? Yes. I can do that? Make it black. Mark. Black. How do you make him black? Oh man. This guy can be discriminated against. If there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. The government people are coming, and we should keep our ears and eyes open for any sign of them. Sure, use the radio. If you break it, boy, am I ever going to be upset with you guys. Ever since we jumped into our fallout shelter, we've been wondering about that other door in the shelter. Should it even be here? Where does it lead? It's high time we checked it out. Why, why would we need a gun to check out another room? 
Do we think there might be burglars in there? I don't think there's going to be a burglar in there. We'll go in unarmed. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the... I'm not allowed to say that word. What are we running here? Once the female gets a whiff of said chemicals, couple that with the sight of those sweet, sweet chromata, and she can't help it. She feels the urge to dance. Imagine this. You have horrible enemophobia, and then this tiny little goofball approaches you. That's right. The diabolical ironclad beetle. That's right. You're not dealing with just any ironclad beetle. You're dealing with one of the diabolical variety. You run to your pantry only to realize that you have no more bleach and ammonia. This means you won't be able to make mustard gas this time around. With a heavy heart, you then turn around, only for him to continue standing there, motionless. You feel as if he's mocking you, although you can't say for certain, because you're not a bug and you don't understand him. You grab the nearest bowling ball and drop it on top of him, only for him to crawl out, looking more diabolical than he ever has. Now, with tears in your eyes, you lure the guy under a ceiling fan. You then grab a knife and cut the ceiling fan off of the roof. For a moment, but mind you, only for a moment, you are relieved. But then, something horrible fills the air, and you feel an evil presence approaching you. You turn around and see him crawl out, unscathed. If he had a mustache, he'd be twirling it right now. I love you. <laughs> Wait, what happened, Mark? I painted you black, so I ran away. I'm painting uh, Jeff Black. No. If you touch my Voltor droid, I'm gonna bomb you. Uh, Where is he? Get back over here, Mark. I'm, I'm making you blackface, too. <laughs> That AAT is black-facing, get him, get it, get it! Just suplex that thing. Jeff is incapable of black-facing. Jeffy, where are you? I swear to God. <laughs> I'm gonna make you black. So do you have future plans on becoming racist? Uh, pay me enough, yeah. Okay, so, so you would put on a Ku Klux Klan outfit, outfit for enough money. A Ku Klux, the Ku Klux Klan. My mama says that I'm part of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> okay, Forrest Gump, alright. Not the fucking Forrest Gump. I was going for Lenny from, from Mice and Men. You'll like that movie, Luke. They say the N-word a bunch of times. Yeah, Luke, you'll love it. Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the same rights to the shelter as we do. They're everywhere and don't seem very scared of us. It's time we change that. We don't want any more spiders in our soup. No, sir. Well, we have nothing to take care of them, so you're going to have to cope. What happened? Because of how durable the ironclad beetle is, entomologists actually have a hard time displaying them. So I'm sure that a good amount of people are aware that entomologists are very big fans of crucifying bugs. If bug crucifixion is a recurring theme in your dreams, then I think you should go for it, man. So Mark, um, I found something in your book bag uh, that is slightly questionable. In my book bag? Yeah, um, I found a Balloon Boy... Adult toy. Could you care to explain that? Yeah, you see, Balloon Boy is a little kid, and, you know, I'm I'm a very big fan of the franchise, so, you know... That's not what you mean by that. Huh? That's not what you should... You should yeah, that's not what you should say, Mark. That, that's not how you defend yourself in this situation. <laughs> Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Well, Dolores, you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to try. You're not certain about the situation on the surface, blah, 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 blah. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. We're gonna send Mary Jane. Enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies. Maybe something survived the blast. 
Maybe someone is still alive. Let's find out. Go, Mary Jane. Live your life. Oh no. I think Dolores could use some antibiotics. <laughs> if only we had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. She died of more than dehydration. Either that or Ted was just really hungry and sucked all the skin off her bones, but anyways. If pizza pans do weigh about 5 pounds, then hypothetically, a dung beetle can pull a pizza pan full of 3 bowling balls. I'll be completely honest, that doesn't seem possible to me, but I mean, if my research is correct, then it should be possible. If I am wrong, feel free to politely explain why I'm wrong in the comments. Or, I mean, I guess you don't have to be polite, you can just threaten me and then just take out all your life's hatred before threatening to come to my house and eat my cereal. Either way works for me, but do whatever you want, you know? What? Whoa! Huh? What are you looking at? Uh, I, th I think I need to take this for evidence. What, what, what am I missing over there? Like, what, what's going on? We're starting a harem. Look at all, look at all these hot women. Holy crap. Look at all of this shit. Where are my children? Alright, let's grab the fat one. We can make it work, even in Toronto. What? What? What does this game have against Toronto? Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that's the best way to get to Europe. It's always... Wait, wait a minute. Europe? Go, Ted. You're not educated. Toronto is in New Guinea. Having a larval state is something that most, if not all, of bugs go through. And in this larval state, bugs are usually a lot weaker than their adult counterpart. But then one tiny goofball came along and he declared, As long as I am a baby, I will be powerful. And so, the antlion was born. Antlions will spend three years in their larval state before they mature into an antlion lacewing. After maturing into a lacewing, it has 30 days to complete the bug subsection of the wildlife bucket list. Even then, I'm sure that 30-day lifespan is boring. I mean, just look at it. 30 days to fly around, dance, engage in other bug activities. It's lame. But once you take a look at the antlion larva, you realize, hey, this guy has three years of being cool to look forward to. Come on, Luke, let's spawn in more Five Nights at Freddy's characters. Hey, Luke, oh, 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 no. <laughs> Luke, you might want to get out of there. Oh, but tell Tubby, that's hot. Uh oh, Luke. Black. Run. We can edit his bones. We can make him not black. What? No. Oh, 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 I'm gonna unblack him. See, so, yeah, the the points in the Grudwich category they crumple when they get hit with something really high explosive. So. Oh, oh, seriously, he's they just crumple. They he's crumple. Right. You do anything to my tails, I'm going to kill you. Why, is he your favorite character? Tails gets his back blown out by Sonic. I will he kill enjoys you. it. It's fucking 11 right now. Yeah, I, I I need to go to bed. I have an exam in the morning. You think? You think? You think? This is Timmy's redemption arc. <laughs> V-Wiz. Alright, I have returned. My grandma was calling me from the mailbox because she had gone down there to get the mail, but there was a package inside and she couldn't walk back up the driveway. But the joke's on her because I'm coming back with a honey bun. You hear- you hearing this, everyone? That's right, I have a honey bun. The people in this game are starving and yet I- I stand here eating a honey bun. I don't know why I said the joke's on my grandma. Sorry, I was taking a bite of my honey bun. Alright, I finished my honey bun. Cool little fun fact about me. I am one of the wealthiest beings to ever walk this planet. And I acquired all of that money through totally normal and not illegal means. I would never sell heroin to children on a playground. That's just not something I'd do. The next morning, I woke up before anyone else, so I decided to pass the time by playing Super Mario 64. And that's when things started getting weird.
In Super Mario 64, whenever you triple jump, Mario says the following soundbite. But that morning, when I opened Super Mario 64 and did a triple jump, instead of saying his normal Yahoo, Mario went, Yahoo! As mortified as I was, I kept playing. But then, Mario stopped moving. I could no longer control him, and he turned around and looked at the camera before saying, Penis. I was petrified, and then turned off my Nintendo 64. I had no idea why Mario would say such a terrible word, but then things got even worse. I heard my mom come stomping down the hallway, and then she kicked down my door and started yelling. She said, Do you pesky young boy, are you sitting in here saying the penis word? And I looked at her and I said, No mom, it was Mario. I would never say a word like that. But she didn't believe me. She then grabbed me by the ear and dragged me over to the fireplace, where she then took the fire poker and began poking me. As we were running around looking, as we were, can, can, stop it with the noise. Go forth, Timothy. Fulfill your purpose. Hulk. Oh no, Timmy, you're sick. What have you done, Timmy? When we answered the phone, we could hear- Can you shut up with the noise? A18, this is where we died the last time. Well, good. Man. Good. Can you shut up? Shut up! Stop playing that sound! I don't want to hear it! Anyways, Dolores is not looking good. And if you think that mods are stupid, then why don't you have a look at this? This is a chicken. Why does it- why do they not have the custom picture? Oh no. See, these chi chickens aren't black. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and went and is safe with us now. I just forgot, I didn't, I didn't take my flip-flops off. I put them on so I could go down to the mailbox. Allow me to slap my flip-flops together. The meeting was organized by twin siblings, a brother and a sister, who took it upon themselves to scout the remains of the city looking for trustworthy and decent people. Looking for trustworthy and decent people. Need I say more? Alright, get the wife. Get the child. Alright, come in here. Get, uh, prioritized food over person who eats food. Alright, get person who eats food. I feel like this water is something that will crash my game if I swim through it for too long. I mean, I know it won't, because it's just a texture, but still. I mean, just look at it. I would never let my kids play in this. Gosh darn hooligans. Out of my house. Stop it. Go away. Up to the surface we go. It is at the surface where we will engage in things such as theft. And embroidery. I don't even know what embroidery is. It just it sounds like a it sounds like a crime. I hope that embroidery is a crime. Smeber was a big giant pit bull who was afraid of nothing and would stop at nothing to protect me. Beaver was a pug, so he wasn't big and he was very skittish, but he still liked to sit in my lap, which helped to keep me calm. Tonight I looked up at this tree branch and I saw a figure wearing a suit standing on that tree branch. It had a hat pulled over its eyes so I couldn't see its face. And it was just standing there. Menacingly. Hey look what we found in the suitcase. We grabbed upstairs. Good thing we didn't unpack our holiday luggage. Why are you putting a why are you putting a gas mask in your holiday luggage? Taking a vacation to Chernobyl? Nothing better than quiet after the storm, or was it the other way around? If this noise doesn't stop, I swear I'm going to kill a small child. Spending some quality time bonding with my family in the apocalypse. If that sound doesn't stop, I'm going to curb stomp several small children. Why do I hear a spooky little ghost? And a spider. Get out of here. So. Go away. 
Now is not the time to give me a spooky haunting. I got some fabric market. Shut up! I might go through the rigmarole shooting down the towers. But it started leaning backwards in a manner that defied all physics. At first it was scary, because I mean, I mean, if you looked out into your front yard and you saw a man in a suit defying nature in a tree, I'm pretty sure you'd be afraid as well. So yeah, it was scary at first, but then the branch it was standing on broke and it fell to the ground with a scream, so it stopped chanting. And I know that you're probably sitting there thinking, wow, this is just a bunch of bullcrap. I'm, I'm about to click off of this video because I don't believe any of it. Well, I know this probably won't convince you because you're stupid, but I do have this audio recording that some of the security cameras picked up. <laughs> the only thing Timmy is here for is he thought he saw Dad throw the Boy Scout book in here. And he was like, oh, my, my reading material. And then he, he jumped in after it. Couldn't do anything about Timmy's wounds. They got worse and worse until eventually he got fed up and left. All that remains of him is a note explaining that we are lousy parents and that he will be back when he be becomes the warlord of the wasteland. Yeah, good luck, Timmy. It's going to be a house. It's going to store all of my things. And it's going to be so wonderful, and I'm going to have so many slumber parties. That's Sugar King. I was just curious. All right. So many slumber parties with so many influential people, like my dad. Time set night. Crap. I failed to anticipate that one. Why? Why? Do that is an ore sp okay, that's an ore spawn, boss. I don't know what it's doing here. This is a plains biome. They don't spawn on the plains biome, or they're not supposed to. We might have a crisis on our hands. Should be able to deal with it relatively easily. That pig just broke into my home. Worst mistake of his life. Yet you hear that, and you, I, I, I don't know if you guys can see that the frames are dropping. It's also getting very loud. I think I think that some of these guys can one shot me. Even it. Okay, a lot of things just died. Hold on. All right, we're gonna turn that way down for now, for reasons that should be understandable. Gosh dang it. That just goes to show that everyone, including supernatural beings, can make mistakes, Deborah. But the joke's on you. You don't even know what you're missing, Deborah. I can't remember the notes. This was no human. This was not just some common thief, some smooth criminal that had come to steal my vast wealth. The being that was currently standing in my yard, well, the being that was currently laying in my yard was one that had ideologies of destruction, death, and among other things. I then slammed the door shut and locked it, but then what I heard next, well, the cameras also picked the audio from this up as well, so why don't you listen to it for yourself? Once I heard these sounds, I knew that the being was now on my roof. He also destroyed my satellite dish, but that was the least of my concerns at the time. We held out for 57 days. A4, Spider-Man. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give one more attempt. But this time, we're not bringing the entire family, and I'm not going to read as much. This time, it's going to be strictly business. Hi. It's a turn on. Wonderful feeling. Timmy, get in. Oh man. The sound of feet dragging across my roof was constant. But then eventually, the sound of feet dragging stopped, and it was traded in for a much worse sound.
The being had just jumped into my chimney and was now in my house. Beaver was now making noises that were weird, even for pug standards, and as soon as I saw the look in his eyes, I knew why. Beaver had been possessed, and if it wasn't the look in his eyes that told me that, it was the fact that he used his little tiny paw to punch a washing machine and send it flying across the laundry room. I found my son. Alright, come hither, son. It's time for some father-son bonding. Alright, the, the phone is ringing. We're gonna send Timmy out because that's what Timmy's good at. He's good at going out and doing stuff. You know, that, that's, that's my Timmy. I, he, Timmy had a teddy bear when he was younger, but we didn't buy it for him because we were too young. And you know, you, you know what I had to tell him to do? I told him, listen to me, boy. I, 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 I called him boy. I told him, go out and find yourself a toy because there's no way I'm going to buy you food myself. What's that sound? Oh no. Something or someone is below us. It's only reasonable to go check it out. How about using that manhole in the co corner? All right, what's below us? Uh, see, you see that guy right there? Just standing there, menacingly. He is causing a very, very large amount of unwanted problems. All right, I'm going to need a... I'm going to need some blocks to stop the sort... I'm going to claw my eyes out. And yeah, that's where the footage cut off. If you couldn't tell, I was getting a bit annoyed, which is further exemplified by this clip. You can go away. No one loves you. Your parents hate you. Your parents don't love you. Your parents hate you. They hate you so much they don't love you. But yeah, tune in next time when I completely and utterly obliterate that pesky gerbil of yours in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Tune in next time when I do open heart surgery on that pesky gerbil of yours. Tune in next time when I stuff that pesky gerbil of yours into an animatronic. Feel free to tune in at a later date when I throw that pesky gerbil of yours into a literal hurricane. Tune in next time when I teach that pesky gerbil of yours how to terraform. It's Waluigi with a crossbow and he's in a bathroom with a bunch of animatronics and there's blood all over the stalls. <laughs> Tune in next time when I properly ration that pesky gerbil of yours. Tune in next time where I send my dung beetle to fight that pesky gerbil of yours. Tune in next time when I teach that pesky gerbil of yours how to properly trick or treat. Tune in next time when I paint all over that pesky gerbil of yours. Ah uh, yes, what what wonderful content. I I I do say so. My my uh yeah. Yeah, if you're watching this, that means that Either you watched all the way to the end, or you skipped to the end, which is fine too, but regardless, thank you. I didn't have much time to upload in the latter half of this year because uh, this semester of school I've been doing marching band, uh, which has been a very fun experience, but it took up a lot of my weekends, which is like the only time I had to make videos. But... Uh, marching band is over now, and this next semester is coming, and I'm also going to be graduating next semester as well, so, yeah, there might be more time after that. Well, I guess I gotta get a job as well, but I'll figure it out. It all depends on whether or not I can think of new ideas, new things to record, uh, and actually execute them properly, because, uh, I've... Like, I've recorded a couple of videos before, and I've watched them back and uh, realized that it just recorded basically a slideshow. Uh, if, if you've watched a couple of my videos, you'll know that I have an issue where my laptop just won't record some of the stuff I do. But regardless of all of that, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed any of this stuff, feel free to check the videos out themselves. Uh, and, I mean, you could also watch last year's videos as well, I mean, no one's stopping you. But yeah, thank you for watching, again, I do appreciate it, and tune in at a later date where I give that pesky gerbil of yours a nice, firm handshake. Have a good night.